Let's create a stop motion picture um, using Google Slides. So open up Google and up here at the waffle, click on it and you want to open up a slide presentation. We're going to start with a blank slide presentation today. So open that up. And if you drag over top of all of those little um, text boxes and delete backspace, it'll clear it off and that's ready for us. Now we want to get a background in there to build our slide presentation on. Um, and so think about what kind of background that you want. I'm just going to write in the word background here and see what I come up with as I'm thinking. And I don't want just a bunch of words. I'm going to look at the images. So I'm going to click on images and then I'm going to start to see a bunch of images. Now I want something that it's, I'm free to use. All right. So I'm going to go here to um, settings, something that's not copyright. I'm going to go to advanced search and then I'm going to scroll down. And as I scroll down, I want to get to this usage, right? I'm going to click on it. I don't want all. I want Creative Commons licenses. Creative Commons is free for anyone to use. All right. And then I'm going to do advanced search. And now these images that are going to show up, you can see I have my Creative Commons license showing up right there. And all of these are free for me to use. All right. And I want some kind of nature background that I'm going to do because I'm going to do a real simple image. And I'm going to go ahead and pick this one right here. So I'm going to um, double click on it or just click on it. And then I'm going to download it onto my computer. So I want to save the image as. And right now this is um, has a bunch of words in there. So I'm just going to say um, back. And that way I'll know. And I'll say save. Um, I already have one existing, but I'll just get a new one. So that's good. So I'm saving it to my computer. All right, so now I'm going to go back to the presentation. And this time, instead of inserting the image, and we do that a lot, insert image, but that image will move around. So if I go to background instead, this is going to make it stick to the background and not move around easily on me. So I'm going to go background, and then I'm going to choose my image. And then again, I'm going to be looking for what's downloaded. So I go to where it says upload, because you're going to upload from your download. And I'm going to hit browse. And in there, there's my background that I want to use. And I can click on it and it's going to open up. I'll just simply click done. And now you can see it's filling up that entire screen. And this doesn't move around. I can't click on it. All right. This is stuck in the background. Um, I want to use this paper um, many times over and over. So I'm going to go file or actually I'm not going to go file. I'm going to go to right on top of it and right click. And I'm going to say duplicate site. And I can duplicate this slide as often as I would like. Duplicate, duplicate. All right, so I'll get started with that one. That way my background is always the same and I can put in some kind of image throughout. And I'm just going to make a little butterfly that's kind of flying. All right, so I'll go back to slide number one. But now I need a butterfly image. You could draw your butterfly image or I can go find one. So again, up here in my search bar, I'm going to write the word butterfly. And push enter. And again, I want to make sure that I have something that's free for me to use. So um, I'm going to go to settings and I'm going to go to advanced search. And again, I want to scroll down and make sure that I have the right usage. Creative Commons. And then I still think I want these transparent ones. Let's see if I, my transparency, I can just kind of pull them in. Um, and so let's try this transparent butterfly sticker. I'm going to copy this image and let's see how that's going to look when I put it in there. Control V. Now it's still going to show me the background. So I really don't want that one. All right. So I'm going to delete that and I'm going to do something a little bit different. So there's still my butterfly and I think I still want to use it, but I'm going to go over here and open up another window. And in this window, I'm going to put in remove.bg, remove background. That's what it stands for. All right. And so you can see right here where it says or upload image, which I could upload an image from my computer or it says drop a file. And I want to drop a file today. So I'm going to go over here back to the butterfly and I'm just going to drag this butterfly on top of the background one and bring it in. And now that's telling me it's invalid. It won't let me use it. All right. So that just means I've got to find one that I can use. So I simply say, OK, and I'm going to go back. So let me find another one. Let's, OK, I am keep trying some different butterflies. I'm going to try this one down here and see if this one will work. I go up to the background, bring it down, drag it down. And look, this one is going to move. I'm not going to get that 
that message going on. And now I'm going to go ahead and download this. It's going to download to my computer. All right, so I'm going to go back to my presentation now that I've downloaded a butterfly. And this time I'm going to insert. And I'm going to set insert and I'm going to upload from the computer. And there's that butterfly, that greenish butterfly that I was doing earlier. And I'm going to click on that and I'm going to insert it. And I can put my butterfly wherever I want on my paper. And actually, I'm going to make that butterfly just a little bit bigger because he's pretty close to me. All right. And now I'm going to take that butterfly, control copy. And on my second slide, I'm going to paste it, control V. And I'm going to make it just a little bit smaller and move it up a little bit higher. And then I'm going to control copy. And then on my next one, I'm going to control um, paste it again, control V, make it a little bit smaller, and I'm going to move it around some more. And then I'm going to copy it again and move to my next slide. And again, control V, paste it. And again, I'm making it smaller. And again, I'm just kind of moving it around. And I want to do it one more time because I've got five slides. And I'm just making a real simple little movie right now. Control V. And again, I'm going to slide it down. Now I'm going to look over here into these windows and see if I like the placement. So I have it low, it's going up higher, and then it's moving off into the background. All right, so I think I like the placement. If not, I can go back to any slide and move things around and make them smaller. Maybe this one a tiny bit smaller so that we're seeing a difference there. All right, and now I'm ready to see this movie in action and see what I have. All right, so I'm going to go to present mode. So now I'm in present mode, and I'm going to come down here um, where there's this little side tab, and I'm going to come over to the three little buttons and click on them. And I want to see auto play. So auto play, so it's going to play automatically. I want it to loop, so it's going to play over and over and over again. And I also want it to play and change slides every second. So the faster I speed it up, um, the quicker it'll look like things are moving. And you can see where you can really slow things down as well, too. So I want to go um, every second, and I'm just going to play. All right. And you can see how my butterfly is going to move through the string. Now, if I found another bluish green butterfly that had its wings more closed, I could actually, as I'm doing this, put another slide in between all of them and make it look like the butterfly wings are flapping. All right, but you can see real quickly how that's going to go. All right, so to stop this, I should be able to hit the escape button and I'm back. I did. I hit my escape button and I'm back to the beginning. So this is how we get started. All right. And today we're going to be playing around with you creating your own stop motion type of picture using Google Slides. Have fun.